currently on the road to 7,000 subscribers. It would be greatly, greatly appreciated if you could take one second to drop a sub on the channel. Enjoy the rest of the video. Yo guys, what's going on? It's your boy, No Limit Dots here, back with another video. And before we get into today's video, I just want to remind you all out there, the other kings and queens, and I hope you all having a very, very blessed day. And in today's video, I'm going to be bringing you guys the best possible version of the Slim Reaper himself, Kevin Durant. And before we do actually get into the video, comment down below which build you want to see me make next, whether it's a particular playstyle or it is a version of a best player in the NBA, in NBA history. It doesn't even have to be a current player, it could be a past player as well. But starting off with this Kevin Durant build, let's first talk about his game, right? One of the greatest big man shooters of all time. Probably the greatest. Probably the greatest. Hands down. He was like 6'11", 7 feet tall. Bro, he shoots it from literally anywhere on the court. And every shot to him is a good shot. We've never been able... We've never seen the combination of speed, ball handle, and jump shooting ability at that height before in NBA history. I know a lot of people seem to hate him. I get it. He's he's done some things, you know, in, in the past, you know, that some people aren't a big fan of. But you can't deny the talent, right? The talent is absolutely... Like, who... Like... You know, a lot of people were saying we may never see another Kevin Durant, but every year it seems like there's these seven foot guys out of Europe or out of college or anywhere that they're just be able to handle the ball and shoot. So honestly, he should take some credit for starting a new wave in the NBA. But let's go ahead and get into the build. You're gonna go small forward, six ten, and also comment down below which uh, what your Kevin Durant build looks like. Cause I know definitely a lot of people probably made a Kevin Durant build that they think uh, it's good, you know. So we're gonna go six foot ten, two hundred pounds, and a six eleven wingspan. Obviously see he has a higher like he's a little taller and a longer wingspan than this right but to get the attributes where we want them to be that is what i had to do so starting off with the finishing this man earlier in his career he was definitely turning a corner accelerating to the rim and, and finishing with both hands under the basket over the basket like he, he's had a complete package right like this man is literally the only person in NBA history that Kobe Bryant said he retired from the NBA without being able to figure out how to guard him because he is that good. So we're going to go ahead and put the close shot up to an 81 close shot to end up giving a silver fast twitch. Uh, then the driving layup, we're going to put this up to an 85 driving layup, which is going to lock a bunch of layup animations and layup badges. All Hall of Fame like Pro Touch, Giant Slayer, Scooper. Uh, bunny gold float game gold silver slithery you know what i mean like layup is a very if you could learn how to use that layup meter and learn how the angles of layups in this game you are going to be very successful especially on a six foot ten build when you're quick it's going to be deadly so moving to the driving dunk we're going to go ahead and put this up to an 86 driving dunk and then the la the thing that probably kevin durant is most known for is going to be his post game because he could turn his back and and fade over both shoulders. He could, bro. He, he's just that post control game. These guys unreal. So we're gonna go ahead and put it up to an 85 post control to get him that gold. Well, he gets uh, silver unpluckable, which is pretty important because plucks right now are crazy. They are absolutely crazy. I know me personally as a point guard, I know just how crazy they are. But every single year this happens. Literally, this is why I tell people do not make a 99 steel build. Every single year, they patch the steals. Whether it's deserved or not, they always patch steals or nerf it, I should say. Uh, so the mid-range shot, we're going to end up, it's Kevin Durant's bread and butter. His bread and butter, 91 mid-range. So look at all that. We get Hall of Fame post fade phenom, Hall of Fame guard, Hall of Fame open looks, comeback hit, all that stuff. You know, you don't need a comeback bid, but comeback kid but uh we're gonna move into the three ball the reason i put the wingspan to 611 is because i wanted to get an 85 three-pointer to get yourself bronze limitless range you're also gonna end up having gold corner and bronze agent three as well then moving into the pass actually uh well actually i want to go over some stats so kevin durant throughout his career he's averaging a 38 percent from three that's, that's just crazy good. He's literally 50% on the dot, and he's averaged 27 points per game over how many seasons is that? He's area uh, four, seven. 
Is that easier 15 or 16? I think it's 15 or 16. I don't know. You guys can let me know down in the comments. But uh, moving into his passing, right? He's been able to average 4.3 assists per game with a guy that really doesn't handle the ball way like, too, too much going up the court or getting into sets. So we're going to go ahead and give him that 77 pass act just so you can still pass. This ball handle is going to be max at 76 and the speed of ball we're going to max at also at 72. So we're going to be able to get silver big driver, but it's going to end up going up due to our acceleration, which we'll come back and return to. But first, we want to get into the defense. This is probably, I guess, what people like Kevin Durant's offensive game is just so good that people like discredit and like just say he plays absolutely no defense. I would say the last couple years in his career, he's been a cone out there. Like you really can't defend at all. But uh, during his prime, he was getting active for sure in that Golden State Warrior defense. Like he was good. So we're gonna go ahead and put that perim or that block up to a 77. So we're gonna give him a bronze anchor, which I think is deserved, right? So it's 77 block with a 61 interior defense. It's not the greatest uh, interior defender due to his, I guess, frame and maybe lack of mentality, tenacity down there, wanting to fight with the big men. Uh, but perimeter even is going to want to go put this up to an 82 to get silver challenger and then your steel is going to end up being a 72 which is going to unlock bronze glove bronze interceptor and bronze right stick ripper then with defensive boards he's abs he's averaged a really good amount of rebounds for his career he's averaged 7.1 total rebounds so i went ahead and maxed out the defensive rebounding up to 78 kept the offensive boards 243 and then we want to go ahead and max out the speed to 78 and max out the acceleration which is going to end up giving us that hall of fame big driver which if you didn't know this is basically hall of fame uh quick first step or hall of fame speed booster but it, it's just for big guys because you can't get speed booster on a build this tall that's six foot ten then moving into the vertical we're gonna end up getting a 75 vertical and then our stamina is going to be a 93 stamina and then the rest, we're going to go ahead and put it on free throw, giving us an 89 free throw. I'm curious to see what uh, shades we're going to get of this build. Like, can we unlock a Kevin Durant shade or is that not going to be possible at all? So you get shades of a Celtic, a Hornet, and a Pelican. We're going to get Jason Tatum, Glenn Rice, and Brandon Ingram. And we are a three-level threat. I could get behind that. I do like the sound of that. I do want to go ahead and show you guys what jump shot you you should put on because you are going to be six foot ten with an 85 three ball. So you guys might not know what jump shot to put on, but if you guys are curious about any jump shots on my channel, I do have a bunch of jump shot videos on there. How to create the best customs, shooting tips, actual jump shots for any type of build, any type of height, any type of three point rating. But I want to go ahead and show you guys at least the animations as well that I would go ahead and throw onto this build in particular. Let's go ahead. All right, thank you. Two times rep pro m 3 v 355 You guys want to go ahead and sweat it and get your rep up? Go ahead and be my guest. But go into the animations first off the jump shot, most important thing of a build. And then I'll go ahead and show you guys the other things to it. But the base you're going to want to go ahead and throw on this, in my opinion, is going to be where is he at? I would go ahead and put on Jonathan Isaac. Go put Jonathan Isaac base on. And then for the releases, for sure, one of them, one of the releases you're going to want is going to be Marquise Chris. And then the second release is really going to be up to you. Like I said in my video, you just want to mess around and find out what the best rating is going to be in terms of speed. You always want to prioritize speed when it comes to jump shots. Then in terms of this, uh... Let me see the animation store. Like, dribble style is very important. You're going to want to get... Well, you could get pro dribble style. That's going to be the only one that you could get pro dribble style. Which isn't bad. It's, it's, it's It could be a lot worse. Signature size up. You're going to want to go ahead and throw on... Maybe Giannis was good last year. Probably Giannis, if I'm being honest. Then for escape, which is really important. Pro... You could get Luca K oh KDs. Yeah, you gonna unless he oh it looks like they nerfed KD. Now they nerfed KD. I wouldn't even throw on your own your own one. LeBron, uh it's kind of brutal. I don't know, you might literally have to go with KD. Then in terms of the last thing, you probably your step back. Luka Doncic, you get uh who do you get? You get Joel Embiid, Vince Carter, Jimmy Giannis. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest, all these 
animations i'm not sure but there isn't many to pick from so it's going to be pretty simple to decipher which ones are good and which ones are bad but that is going to be the end of my kevin durant build if you guys did overall enjoy the build video make sure to drop a like comment and subscribe and it's been your boy no limit dots and i'm out peace